Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's Good Karma Success Coach Podcast. I am your host, Melinda Van Fleet. We're going to just dive right in because I don't know how long my voice is going to hold out. If you've been following me, I strained my voice and it's been an amazing experience. And I don't mean amazing in a good way. (laughs) Recording my Audible book and I'm only halfway done. So I have to finish. And if you know anything about recording an Audible, you have to have the most perfect and consistent tone energy level, and every word you say has to be spot on flawless. So recording an audible book is a whole um, lesson in discipline, and I have been just thrown for a loop that I strained my voice in this process. And um, yeah, I can still feel it today as I'm recording this podcast. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of content done for the week, and then I'm going to be quiet again until Tuesday. So if I have any um, clicks or weird sounds on this podcast or the Confident Conversations podcast, please forgive me. What I wish to share is going to be a two-part podcast series. I got a lot of positive feedback about the knowing series that I did part one and part two. And I loved doing that. Like I just find that so many things that are happening for me are just this continuation of following the breadcrumbs, trusting my intuition and really learning and growing. And I'm all of this is happening for me so rapidly. Like I, I, I honestly, like I can't keep up this morning was just this mind-blowing explosion of content sharing ideas to help others and things for coaching and things for courses. And it just is um, coming to me so quickly that I just really feel like I have to keep getting it out there to um, really share with everybody. So I loved the idea that came through for me to have these two really recent stories about nothing is a coincidence as podcast shares. And the other thing that I hope you get from this is that my new book that is coming out, Life in Love Lessons, How to Discover Confidence Through Your Spiritual Journey, which comes out on Amazon July 28th, is in the same vein as these stories I'm sharing. However, these stories are obviously really recent things that have happened to me, so hence they're not in the book. But you will get the flavor of how I really use all this tools and intuition and things that come to me to move forward in my life and move forward in my business and move forward in relationships and move forward in growth. And I really use all of this to push through stress, to push through anxiety, overwhelm, mind loops, big one there triggers. And I share because I hope it inspires you to go, oh my gosh, I had the same thing that happened to me. Or I have something similar that happened to me. Or, oh my gosh, I I get it. Like that makes sense. Click, 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 click. So I want like all these things to like click for you. That's my intention. That's my goal. That's my desire is for, um, these things to help you go, oh, I get it. Oh my gosh, it's going to help me move forward with something, right? Because we all as humans get stuck. We all as humans experience similar things. It might not be exactly, right? A story I'm going to share today and next week are not going to be exactly. That would be kind of freakish and weird. But there there are similarities where you can when you listen, and even if it hasn't happened to you yet, you might remember in six months, oh my gosh, you know, that crazy blonde girl, Melinda, the one that has the two podcasts, she, you know, said a story similar, and I just had the same thing happen, hence a coincidence, ding, 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 and you can move through it quicker, faster, and with ease, and flow, and delight, so, um, so that's my intention, and I hope that you like my story share. So the story this week and next week are both about coaches, like the story involves coaches that I have hired and paid for. 
And I want you to know, as I tell the story, that it's absolutely nothing negative about the two coaches. It's two different coaches in each story. And it actually is, is nothing negative. It just happens to be the story. And the first story is just kind of is what it is for this week. And the second story has many more layers. And that will be written about in my coaching book that will be coming out in the fourth quarter that's a coaching confidence book that I already have in my head, like halfway written. So, um, so just know that. So there'll be more to the story for part two of this little series, but they'll be in my book. Um, but let's get going on part one because my voice is starting to fade. So, um, the, the coach that I have been working with for quite some time and, uh, we just wrapped up, she was really helpful for me, for just finding like, how do I put it? Like better word choices. Like I might have an idea, but not the perfect framing around an idea. And that is why I hired her. Literally, that's why I hired her was I know that she is very gifted in finding really good words. And, um, I know that sounds kind of goofy, but it, if, uh, sometimes I just don't feel like I have the most perfect words, like things come through me, but I just, have my growth has been learning to um, put that out there in in a better way for people to really resonate with and and that's why I hired her she's really good at that so I was um, telling her an idea for an article that I had to write a blog and she loved it, that idea she thought that was great and she added to that idea she added like a little caveat, which was again, why I hired her because she's really good at that at finding like extra little, Oh, think about this or maybe do this. And she gave like an extra little caveat and I, I loved it. It was great, great little caveat. I'm like, Oh, this is really cool. And I wrote it in my journal as I took it as a note. A couple days later, I sit down to write the article and I always do my content when I feel inspired to do it. I don't ever try to follow some calendar that doesn't work for me. Like I, I know my deadlines. I'm not an idiot, but like I don't force myself to write. So at that time, it wasn't the right time for me to write. It wasn't coming through yet. So a couple of days later, it was starting to come through the, the article. So I sit down, I write the article. It's done. I put it through Grammarly. I do all the things and I'm like, okay, great. It's done. And then like a couple hours later, I'm like, oh, shoot. I don't think I used her idea, which again, I liked her idea. It was a great idea. And so I opened the article and I read through the article to refresh my memory because when things come through you from the divine, like you often don't remember what you said or what you wrote. It sounds weird if you don't understand this. Um, if you do understand, you're like nodding your head. If, if you don't, you, it just isn't maybe how you're wired, I guess you could say, or maybe you're not there yet. But, um, so I read the article and I look at the notes from our conversation and I'm like, oh shoot, I didn't mention her idea. And uh, so I look at my article and I'm like, okay, how can I encompass her idea? And I had all intentions of encompassing her idea. And I look at the article and I'm like, gosh, I just don't, I'm not feeling it. I'm like, I don't know how to add this in. I don't know how to tweak this article. It's kind of perfect and how it flows. And so I shut it down. I shut it down and I walk away, which is what I do. If I get stuck, I just walk away. And I come back like a couple days later because, again, it's on my to-do list and I have a deadline. So I'm like, okay, you know, I got to revisit that article look at it again. So I pull it up again and I look at it again. And I sit there and I stare at the article and I reread it and I print it and I look at her notes and I'm like, okay, how do I encompass this? And again, I'm like, ugh. I totally didn't add this in. And then I start going into my nurturer stage, which is where I think to myself, oh, you know, when she goes to read my article, is she going to be hurt or bummed that I didn't include her idea? And that goes through my head in a mind loop. And then it also goes through my head that, you know, I, I paying her for her ideas and I didn't use it. So that's kind of still silly, right? Like you hire someone, you spend time working with them and you pay them thousands of dollars. And then, you know, I didn't even use the idea. So that mind loop goes through my head and I'm like, ugh, you know, if I 
go to use this idea, I have to like redo this whole article and then that wastes more time. And so I'm going through like the mind loops of the whole situation. And what did I do next? I had this inkling. I pull up my LinkedIn just randomly. I'm like, I'll just pull up LinkedIn. I don't know why. I just pulled up LinkedIn. The first post, I kid you not, the first post that appears in my LinkedIn feed is a post from her, the same coach, that is using the idea that she came up with, which was based on my initial idea, right? And she created a post with that idea. (laughs) So I was like, oh, okay, she'll, she just, used the idea that she had for me, for herself, okay, someone could be pissed off about that and be like, that is that the right thing to do? But whatever, it's ideas and there's content and who sees what, like when you can't get into all that anymore, it's so stupid. There's so much content out there and Big Magic is an amazing book written about, you know, content coming to all different people and and all that stuff. So I, I truly just like laugh at any of those thoughts now but so it made me laugh because I thought to myself that some people would probably be pissed and think of it that way and so then I just shut down LinkedIn and the next thing I went into was the Kabbalah Center because I'm in the middle of taking a six-week Kabbalah business mastery online course and it's just it wasn't very expensive it was like 100 bucks or something And if you read Life and Love Lessons, you'll learn that I really love Kabbalah and I attribute a lot of my spiritual growth to Kabbalah. And so I had signed up for this business mastery little training course. It's six small videos. And anyhow, the first video that I pulled up to start to watch, the coach, the Kabbalah coach says, There is no such thing as coincidences. That was the first thing he said. So if you think about it, here I was going through all these mind loops of trying to redo the story, redo the blog, trying to add in what she gave to me as an idea. I couldn't make it fit because the story came out as it should. That's the point. The story came out as it should as it was meant to come out from the divine, from the universe, however you want to think about it, how it was meant to be shared with the world. It's not about me. It's about sharing with the world. And I was mind looping about it as a human. So my human brain stepped in and was mind looping about, oh my God, am I going to hurt her feelings that I didn't do this? And I paid for this and da, 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 da. And sure as shit, I go to LinkedIn And the post is right in my face. She used the content, which is fine. Again, it's fine. It's just content. Who cares? And it made me stop. Seeing her post right there, the first post on LinkedIn that I saw when I pulled up LinkedIn is what made me stop. It made me stop the mind loops. It made me stop and go, you know what? The article is as it is. It's totally fine. It's a great article. It'll help some people out there. I'm leaving it as it is, and I'm moving on. And Kabbalah, in that little phrase, (laughs) there's no such thing as a coincidence, made me go, yep, you're right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So as you go through your day, your week, your month, remember this little story, that there's no such thing as a coincidence. So sometimes when something happens and it's happening for you, it could be very well to help you move forward, to help you move forward where you were stuck, where you were having some anxiety, some overwhelm, some stress, a mind loop, a trigger, any of those things, any of those nasty things that we all have, that we all deal with and people don't talk about enough. But something little, something so goofy as a LinkedIn post, I mean, really, think about it. How goofy is that? That made me stop. That made me stop the mind loop that I was having about having to redo the article and quite frankly, saved me time. So it was done. It was all 
done. So that's what I got for this week. I'm going to cut this now because of my voice, but I appreciate you listening. I appreciate you sharing. If this story helped you, please share with somebody else that it may help. Um, you can always connect with me on the socials, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram are where I hang out. And if you're interested in private coaching, I would love to speak with you. We can definitely have a conversation when you email me at melinda at melindavanfleet.com, or you can just schedule using my link connect with melinda.com and I'll put all this information in the show notes. So until next time, be grateful, be curious, always be learning. And you know what? Have some fun too. Thanks for listening. Bye.